Hi, this time we will animate a line drawing in DaVinci Resolve 17. As usual, we create a new fusion composition and open it in the fusion page. Drag the background from toolbar into the nodes panel, connect the media out, set the background to transparent. While the background node is still selected, click on the paint icon, a paint node is attached to the background and media out. On the viewer toolbar, select polyline stroke, create a polyline path. Once the path is done, click the done icon on the toolbar to lock the path. To avoid accidental changes later. Move playhead to frame 0, in the inspector panel, change the right on end value to 0, enable the keyframe. Move to end of the clip, frame 149. Change the right on end value to 1, a keyframe is automatically created at frame 149. Now play the clip, the line is self-drawing as expected. Next we will add an image to the head of the drawing line. Select node paint 1, click paint icon on the toolbar, a new paint node is added and connected. On the viewer toolbar, select polyline stroke. In the inspector, right-click on the last text line, select the connect to, but there is nothing available yet. Because the current path is not published yet, Go back the previous paint node, inside the stroke controls, right click on the last text line, select publish, you will see a new ply line modifier is created in the modifiers tab. Go back to paint to node, right click and select connect to, polyline stroke 1 value. Change the color to red. Confirm current position is at frame 0. Set right on end value to 0.001. Enable keyframe, change the spacing to 0. Move the playhead to last frame 149. Change the right on start value to 0.999. End value to 1. Now play the clip, the line is self drawing with a leading red dot. We can also change the brush size or shape of the leading image. In the brush control section, change the shape to image. Make sure change the apply mode to merge. For image source brush, there are many predefined brush shapes, like bomb, flakes, leaf, smiley face etc. If we change the image source to clip, we can even browse the local folder to user an external image, for example the logo I used here. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.